Okay, so we just got done opening up the Spidey 300 and 9.6. Uh, this came back, uh, let's see, FedEx also. And I'm betting there's more than one in here. This is a fairly heavy box. So let's see what we have here. Okay. Lay this down. I'll be tickled pink if I get some more nine fours, fives, sixes, something in there. Oh, we've got quite a few here. Let me see. How many do we have? Got four. Got four. And let's see. I don't think these don't look like newer ones. Nope. It looks like I got some golden age books here. So the first one here is Superman 31. Superman 31, and that's a 6.5 off-white pages. Uh, really a sharp looking book. I'm not disappointed at all with the grade. It's really hard to get, you know, sevens, eights, and nines in the golden age stuff. So a 6.5 is, is definitely better than uh, average for most golden age books. So that's a neat looking book. And let's see, next one up, another Superman. And we got a Superman number 41. And that's in a 6.0. Uh, Off-white to white pages are the notations on that. And again, just a good solid mid-grade book, mid -grade book, excuse me. And you can see there's a little foxy, a little discoloring on there. So it definitely does show some age. Um, again, not disappointed with that at all. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, here's a Weird Mysteries. So we've got a Weird Mysteries, or Weird Adventures, excuse me, number one. Uh, this is one that's going in my collection. I really like this uh, old sci-fi horror stuff. I picked this up from a, a dealer buddy of mine up in Minnesota. So uh, thanks, Chad. Uh, came off as a 5.0 off-white to white pages. Um, again, not a super duper hard book to find, but a, a good clean book. I'm going to be real happy uh, putting this in my collection, so can't be disappointed there. It's not a book I run across a whole lot. And let's see, next up we have, oh here we go. I wondered when this was coming back. So there's Batman Adventures 12. Okay, and that's the first appearance of Harley Quinn in comics. So 9.2, not quite as high as some of the others. I think uh, I got a 9.6 on the other Batman Adventures, but this is a really, really good book. Uh, good grade, cannot complain about 9 or above on anything. Very key book. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Batman Adventures line, even before the whole Harley Quinn thing blew up. It's not a real long run, I think 24, 25 issues, something like that. Um, I really, and what I'm thinking of doing is maybe selling this one and getting one in lower grades so I can have a complete collection. It won't be as nice as my other ones, um, but still it's a pretty high-end book, so I don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that, but Cannot complain again. That's Batgirl or Batman Adventures number 12, uh, first appearance of Harley Quinn in comics. So so far so good. I'm doing doing really well. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm gonna stop the tape here and we're gonna get the next box up.